Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie a modified SOS. I'm going to start out. The hook I have in the vise is a size 14 and it has a 2.4 millimeter tungsten bead on it. And that hook is a Lively Legs Lip Splitter size 14 and the bead comes from Lively Legs. It is a black bead. Going to start with black thread. I'm going to use a heavy thread here and that is a 210 thread. And the reason I'm using this heavy thread 210 is because the abdomen is going to be the black thread and the heavy thread makes the abdomen a lot quicker than using a fine thread. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start tying in the rib and for the rib I'm going to use a extra fine stainless steel wire. I'm going to start it in the front. Let me get that try to keep it on my side there we go and we're going to bring that down we're gonna stop that right before the bend just gonna put that on the side there and now for the tail I'm going to use a black hackle And I'm going to take about, yeah, maybe about six of these. Going to tie that in. Let me try that again. Hold it towards my side slightly. And then it should end up on top. And we want that tail to be about half the length of the body. So I'm going to Undo that and move that forward just a little bit. It's a little bit long. There we go, that's better. Right on top. And now we're going to form the abdomen. We're going to bring this up. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to stop just a little bit short and then go forward again. And I'm not going to go as far forward because I just want the abdomen. And we're going to go back once again. And we're going to stop just a little bit shorter once again and then come forward. So that way we get a tapered body. I'm going to bring that forward all the way and I'm going to tie that off. Now I'm going to switch to the thinner thread and that is the 16 op vivas that I like. And we're going to attach our thread and we're going to bring that back to the back of the thorax. We're going to take my stainless steel wire and I'm going to wrap that. And if you start to wrap and you bend the, you see it's pulling the tail, give a wrap with the wire underneath the tail before you start to wrap it. And we're going to palmer that forward. Nice open barber pole spacing. And we can tie that off. You can tie these flies down pretty small, size 20s if you want. These are, I like these flies for the summertime when you're kind of forced to do mostly nymph fishing. They're a nice betas fly. 
then we bring that thread back to the back of the thorax now for the wing case I'm going to use a red tinsel has green on one side and red on the opposite going to tie this in so that we can have the green on top then when we fold it over we will see the red for the thorax I'm going to use two pieces of peacock hurl and we're going to tie them in and we're going to wrap them two pieces gives you strength gives you a little bit more strength and also it helps to keep the bulkiness of that and with peacock curl you can actually go back on itself I'm going to tie that off give it about three or four wraps on top and three about three wraps in front of it and then we'll trim that off now for the legs we're going to use black crystal flash and I think this black crystal flash is one of the triggering mechanisms for the trout to hit along with the red tinsel wing case just in a track an attractor pattern I'm gonna tie these in right there at the front and we want to keep those on the sides I'm gonna hold that back Kind of, you want to get those legs to go towards the rear there slightly. Now I'm going to take that wing case and I'm going to fold that over and tie that in. Pick that tinsel up, put a couple wraps in front of it. And we're going to trim that off. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to hold all four wings back or all four legs back and I'm going to trim that not quite as long as the body now I'm going to take just a small pinch of some black dubbing I'm going to use some rabbit dubbing in black what I want to do is just hide the thread on the front just a small amount there I'm going to take my whip finish give it three turns of the whip finish one wild hair there just pluck that off Got another one on the bottom and here we have a modified Higgins SOS you can tie them on the straight hook you can tie them on a curved hook you can tie them down to size 20 like I said it's mostly a a tractor so I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.